Now then YouTube and the top man and welcome back to some more Sky Factory. It's on the Patreon server today and um, there's only me. <laughs> there's literally only, this must be the first time I've logged on and there's literally only me. So I've got a few things to show you guys. I've got Stormbound, I've got Sharpness and now I've got Knockback on my uh, little weapon here which is absolutely great. Well, I'll say it's great, it really makes no difference at all because these guys are just chilling out inside here. So, making no difference. But uh, I can't really see them from it. Have I changed my brightness, by the way? I don't think I have. That's probably why I can't see them. Oh, there we go, look. There we go. Now I've just got to kill all these bats. that are doing my head in. Look, it's a ghost image. There he is. I've got it. So... What are we going to do this episode? Well, exactly what we said we were going to do last episode. I've made a little bit of a space for what we want to do for this episode right there. Um, and we want to create some some sort of power. Some kind of power. I've gone ahead and made some more stuff in here, guys. And, you know, um, saved a load of gravel. Got myself some, you know, broken gold, broken copper. All you know, the stuff that we'll need. Oh. Wow. Limestone stones. <laughs> That's changed my life, that has. It's changed my life. So anyways, um, yeah, what we're going to do this episode, guys, we're going to create a way of getting power. And to do that, we wanted these solar panels from Solar Flux. I don't know if these work, and I don't know how they work, but I'm going to craft one, and we're going to find out anyway. So you can craft it by getting these mirrors with some redstone and some, uh, some wood there. The mirrors you can get with glass and aluminium. Now, luckily for you guys, I've already gone ahead and done this. And I've created enough to make six of them. There we are. I just want the one, though, just for the moment, because I want to see how this will actually work. Do you have to put it on top of a uh, particular machine? Can you um, can you connect, like, RF cables? So, in other words, flux ducts, or whatever they're called nowadays in these things. Where is it? Ooh, Draconic Evolution. That could be interesting to get into as well. Yeah, the uh, flux plated fluid fluid ups. No, we want the flux duct. So a leadstone flux duct. We haven't got enough redstone to be able to actually do this, um, which is a shame. But I think you can just stick it on top of a machine. I could be completely wrong, but I want to go ahead and try that anyway. A pulverizer is something that I really, really want to stop me from having to make bloody gravel out of this cobblestone. So a pulverizer requires a bit of stuff. We need a piston, which I also need a bit of redstone for. I think what we'll do is we'll grab all of them out of there and we'll start making what we need. So there's a piston worth of stuff there. We're around. There we go. That's the piston side of things. We need two bits of flint, which we should have. Oh yeah, we've got plenty of that. That's not a problem. Two bits of flint. We need the redstone reception coil, which requires another two redstone. We need some gold as well. Um, I do have gold inside here. I haven't smelted any down as of yet. But I really do want to get that pulverizer running up. Uh, up and running. Running up. Well, we can try and get it running up as well, but I don't think it's going to help us somehow. Whoops. There we are. Whoops. There. And then we can put that in there and make six of the things. Now, the reason why we don't have so much redstone is because I've literally just been uh, pulverizing, well, I'll say pulverizing, I've been hammering down this cobblestone into gravel and putting it through there. And of course, you can't get redstone from gravel. I did manage to get a piece of diamond. I've got some more lapis as well inside there as well. But uh, this is pretty much all we've got. Oh, there we go. Look, I've got another extra piece of gold. How ledge is that? It's pretty ledge, guys. I'll answer it for you. I'll, I'll, I'll answer it for you. So what I want to do is also automate this thing. I want to get it filled with cobblestone by itself. Um, and the easiest way to do that is to use some of these things and just have it run along here to this inventory as well. So, whilst we're waiting for this, I believe I've got some spare. I haven't got very many spare. Certainly non, uh, not enough to reach this particular area over here. Um, at least I don't think we have. No. Two. Three. And I will need to make some more of them. But I'll make some of them in a second, because I want that constantly going into here and making me more and more lava. Because, of course, we're using the smeltery, and we're going to be using it quite often now. So 
Really need to get that on, on, the, uh, on the go. So there's the piece of gold that we need. Awesome. Uh, we will make the reception coil. Brilliant stuff. Now we need those um, copper plated... Well, I say copper plated. We need the copper gears. So we need one... Well, we need two of them. So we need two iron and eight, eight copper. My goodness. I don't... Are we going to get enough? Yeah, I think so. I think so. Are we actually going to have enough? It's a question needs to be answered, guys. I don't know if we've got enough copper. There we go. And that'll make that, which will make six copper. Or do we have... We don't have any more copper inside here to be able to... Uh, to make, oh, look at that, guys. Oof, thank goodness for that. Thank goodness gracious me. So let's get rid of all this gold, get some copper on the crack, and I'll be back when I've got the materials. All right, guys, I think we've got pretty much everything we need for the pulverizer now. We should have enough to make this tin gear right here. Tin gear right here. Oh. Oh, come on, go get back around to the, yeah, there we go. There it is, and we should have enough now. Oops, I haven't made the uh, the copper gears I think that is it so finally we've got ourselves the pulverizer guys which is absolutely fantastic I cannot wait we're gonna um, pop down a cobblestone slab where I'm gonna put this pulverizer remember this is gonna be the first in a chain so I'm pretty much gonna want to slap it right there I think and uh, now we can start doing that so if we put this on top of there yes it starts actually working. Can I get this back up with a pickaxe? I can. Now, I wonder if it will actually work and transfer to each other. Now, the reason why I ask that, guys, is if I get solar panels on the go here, so I can make five more, look. I do need eight total ones to get to the next level of solar panel. But if I put... So you can see the charge right there, and it's actually lessening the charge. If I add that to it... It's not going to pass on, which is a shame. It's a real, real shame. So you can see the capacity. It's going to it's going to um, get that up, but it's not really going to really do anything for it. Now, the only other way that I can think of doing this at the moment is to do one of those, um, not batteries. What do you call them? It begins with C. I know it begins with C. And there are you. Uh, where are you? You're here somewhere. I know you're here somewhere. No. What, what do you call them now? Buffers? Oh, you guys are going to be screaming at the, at, the, uh, at the screen. Because I don't know what it was called now. Okay. Ender I up. Is it Ender Storage? No, it's definitely Ender I.O. Now, why the hell can I find them? Oh, this is going to be annoying as hell. Oh, Capacitor Bank. That's the one. Good stuff. It's to do one of these. Um, but we need a lot of redstone to be able to do this because we need it for this as well. We've got the copper. We've got the gold. Oh, we should be able to do this. So now that I know that this doesn't actually work... Um, oh, hang on a minute. The charge has just disappeared. But the charge does go down. I think it's because this is... Is that actually working? Let's wait for this. Look, the charge has gone... It ke does keep going down. Look, can you see it? It does keep going down. So I'm wondering if it just passes it on to this. And then keeps nicking a bit. I don't know, guys. I really don't know how that is working at all. However, I'm just going to slap them all right next to each other like that. One. So that's got that. That's making tons. I think they're just giving it to each other. Wow, look at that. That is quality. All right, okay. So I think it's... It's going to feed into here eventually. I don't know how it's working, but uh, it's going to feel, uh, feel, 
it's going to feed into here eventually and i want to be able to get one of these capacitor banks so that i can stick all of those onto a you know a load of capacitor banks or maybe just make another couple of these solar panels uh, so i can upgrade them so put that into there and i'll start making some gravel which means that i don't have to um keep feeding that myself so i don't have to keep hammering down the cobblestone myself which i'm quite happy about and look at that it actually keeps up oh no i was going to say it actually keeps up with it but uh, apparently it doesn't which is a massive shame but we are getting some sand for that oh that is a real shame that is such a massive massive shame i was hoping it kept up with it no hang on a minute it keeps dumping some every now and then One forty, and then it's back into the so it does get a little bit back from it as you can see but it is taking more than it's actually giving i think what we'll have to do guys is go for the solar panel mark two this thing right here which has a generation of 16 so it's way more than that and has a transfer of 128 which of course is a lot better as well but it requires eight of them and uh, one of them but the redstone has been the issue at the moment, at this moment in time. So I think we'll have to, I'll just leave that doing that, guys. I'll have to uh, smack down some cobble into some gravel and then into some sand and then into some dust as well so that we can uh, start to get some more redstone going on because that's pretty much the uh, what's stopping me at the minute. All right, guys, well, we should have enough now to make the rest of these. Thank you. There is two. And, of course, to go with the six that I've actually managed to already make... Let's uh, go and grab this. Yeah, they actually turn into normal ones. Thank God for that. Got a bit more in the way of uh, redstone as well. Um, I managed to get some of the gravel from inside here, and I also went and did a stack worth of, um, uh, of, of dust. There we go. We should have enough gold kicking around as well. Good. And then we just grab that. We do that. We get a solar panel like that, and then we've got a solar panel Mark II. Now, that's very good, um, but what we would like to do is also get one of those capacitor banks. Capacitor. Oops. Capacitor banks. And that will just, you know, run as a battery when we're not using the power and, uh, and store all of the energy. Because this will only hold 250,000, which is very good, but uh, this will hold a million, which is also excellent um we've got enough copper i believe we've got enough copper at least anyway oh we might not have i did do some more of this anyway what we'll do is um i will go away i will come back i'll put this on top of here actually get it uh, get it running does this run on a surplus now or does it not i think it might actually run on a surplus mind you it needs to get to a certain amount before it starts grinding Oh no, it is actually running on a surplus. This is brilliant. This is great. This is exactly what we want. Uh, something that will gain power as it's doing uh, the cobblestone. So, of course, we can um, put some augmentations in there. I believe we can start putting some redstone control. Oh no, maybe not. Then. Is there no augmentation to make it quicker? I'm pretty sure that there is. Pretty sure that there is. But uh, either which way. So, power usage 10. Maximum power 40 RF per tick. And this generating at 16 RF per tick. So basically it's using 10 RF per tick. It's not using like 40 RF per tick. So that's good. Right. Well, now we're making gravel and we're making a little bit of sand in there as well. That's, uh, that's good news. That is good news. We'll finish off making what we should finish off making. Oops. And that is a way of getting the stuff into there. So we need some more of those trans... Oh, I do it every time. Transfer pipes. Then, uh, which means we need iron, glass, and redstone. So luckily for me, I do actually have some more of that. And I've just put everything... All of this I've just literally put away. But we will have more iron, you know, going forward. So I don't feel that this is a waste. I'm going to need it anyway. Without question, I will need this. So we need to constantly get it filling into here. And what I want to do is just do it on the side there. Pop round here. Like that. So I can still get through. Um, that should fill it up with cobblestone. Because it's classed as an inventory. Now I don't know if it will do it from the side or if I've got to do it from the top. But it will class itself as an inventory when that's full. 
Alright guys, well I've left this a little bit and it's still not filling up with cobblestone so what I would suggest the problem is is that it needs to go into the top. So let's try that. Yeah, yeah there we go. I just saw it. I just saw it take a little bit more of the uh, solid cobblestone as you can see there and there's another bit. So that's brilliant. That is doing exactly what I wanted it to do. That will now fill up and make me a lot of cobblestone. I'll probably want to make a big long line of these so I can get lots and lots of lava and then maybe make a power generation out of lava or something like that. But uh, this is going well. This is going well as well. Let's go and pile pile some more of the cobblestone into here. Now that's using 40 RF per tick and it's still managing to keep up. Oh no, hold up a minute. That's got an actual charge. Okay, so that's not going to keep up doing that. That really isn't going to keep up. I think the light level is starting to go down as well. But it does mean that we've got some gravel that I can just go over to here and then start whacking it into here and um, without having to do it with a hammer, which is always a plus. So... With that in mind, I do want to get, make that capacitor bank before the end of the episode, but I'm going to need a bit of material to do that first, so I'm going to get that, and I'll be back. Alright guys, it's time to do one last thing, uh, well, before I do the capacitor banks, actually. Uh, I'm going to make a chest here, and we're going to make a little hopper. And of course, now it is time to do the thing that I wanted to do for, like, ever. Uh, but I need another chest first. So let's put that there and grab that chest and open up this particular area right here put the chest down there and uh, open up this oops that's not where my uh, pick is there we go and then let's have that pointing straight into there so now um, everything that I smell up will go into there and we'll just get sucked straight into the chest like that. So I don't have to keep, you know, getting it out into my inventory. But to go one step further, guys, I'm going to need some of this stone here. I'm going to need a little bit of redstone. One, two, three, four, five of that. I'm going to need a stick. There we go. I just swap and drop a stick. We're going to go one step further. Now, I believe it's this way around. Of course it's not. There we go, and a redstone clock. Now that is going to allow me to, uh, well, I'm going to go on top of here first. I'm going to put it on top of there, and that will just go ahead and do a, well, redstone clock, basically. It's like a little redstone tick, and we'll constantly keep that doing that, so I don't have to stand there and do it myself. I can come along, put the stuff in there, and then watch as it goes into here. So what we're going to do is take all of our ingots, and pile them into there, ready for when we need them. So the iron ore dust, we want the rest of that to go into there as well. We need a bit of iron, of course, for the thing. We need copper. Uh, so fingers crossed, I've got a little bit more copper, but I don't know if that's going to be enough. Let me have a quick look. Capacity. There we go. Um, right, I need four of these basic capacitors. That means I'm going to need four copper ingots in total. I've got enough. Um, there, that will make... Well, we'll see. We will see. I don't think that will give me enough. Fingers crossed this gives me five, because then I can get... Uh, oh, there we go. Because then I can get two of these, which means I get four. So I have got enough, which is awesome. So we'll let that uh, do its business, though. Uh, we'll melt this down. The capacitor banks, I will have enough copper now to be able to do this. I will have enough gold already, and I need uh, four, I need eight redstone, which means I d I'm going to need a little bit more than what I've currently got. So I'm going to need to make some more dust. Now, the good thing is, of course, we've got a pulverizer over here, um, and we can just shove that back into there, and that will then uh, pulverize that down into sand, and then the sand will then get pulverized down into dust. So I don't have to do it with my hammer. I can just leave it to do its business. I can go for a drink. I can go to the toilet. I can do whatever I want to do and come back and do it. And that is what our skyblock is all about, automating from start to finish. And eventually what we'll do is we'll have, uh, you know, resource crops and stuff like that. Well, I say eventually. Hopefully before the end of the Patreon month, that is, we'll have, um, we'll have that. But as it's going, guys, we have got quite a bit of iron um, going, so that's great. We'll put the copper in there now. I don't think that alloys into anything. If it does, then, well, we're in trouble. And I'll just go ahead and get some more. But this this is going great, guys. This really is going great. And you can pull out. I think you can pull out of the sides of this, um, which is why it probably couldn't put it into the side, because you can pull out of the side of a, 
of a crucible. But we're going to have a, a big long line of crucibles at some stage soon. I think that's something I can do, uh, you know, off camera. It's basically just setting up the same um, kind of thing, just in a big long line, rather than... I might get, you know, two or three in there whilst I can. But we'll see. We will certainly see. We'll let that do that, and I will be back then, guys, once I've got enough, all, all, once I've got all of the things to make the uh, capacitor bank. All right, guys, I think I've got pretty much everything we need for the capacitor bank right now. Um, a lot of redstone was needed in the making of this. So, redstone. No, hang on a minute. I want the red. I want the actual block of redstone. In fact, no. Let's just make it, guys. Why not? Redstone. Good. And I think we can just go ahead and make these. One, two, three. Oh, it actually, it used my gold coins. So I didn't really need to make these into golden nuggets. Oh dear. Never mind. Um, well, we've got that. So now we've got a capacitor bank which is capable of holding 1 million RF. Which is great because this thing is capable of holding 250,000. And it can't quite keep up now. Um, in fact, I think it just is. See, the, the charge is like, it's like proper going for it. It really is. But it's generating 16 RF per tick, and this is using 40 RF per tick. This should, technically, be going down. But it's not. So I'm really not sure. Oh, no, hang on a minute. It's actually got 250k. It doesn't tell me whether what the charge is. It's already inside there. But there is a charge of about 48, 47, 46,000 RF already in there. Let's get rid of this. Brilliant. I'm going to pop that on the back there. And I'm going to pop that now on top of that. So that should start gaining some RF, which it is. And then that should be taking from the back of it. Which it probably will do once it stops actually uh, actually doing it. Because that only holds 16, so I think it's um, putting straight out. Let me have a look. Output, input. So it's already got that already loaded in there, which is great. I love that little thing. I love that. So you can, as you can see, it will use less and less power as you know it goes down further down and down and down. And of course, it'll stick on 10 RF per tick once it gets to around about here. Uh, but it will get slower over the time. So we've pretty much got exactly what I wanted, guys, and that is a little system here that will go ahead and feed this with a little bit of power, so that I can get this into gravel and I can make more and more resources going forward, which is going to be absolutely fantastic. Now, what I want to do next episode is start to automate the uh, the sifting process just a little bit more by putting it into this kind of process here with a pulverizer and stuff. And once I've done that, I'll work on a little storage area to put all of the little bits and bobs in before we make a ton of the smelteries. I want little tiny smelteries for each and every um, metal that we've got so that we can work it like that. At least, that's what I want to do for the moment. Um, we've got... Uh, I believe Magical Crops is in. Is it not? Yes, Magical Crops is actually in. So, if we take a look at this. We need Manicio Essence. You know, that's a, one of the things that we do, definitely do need. And that's from the Uncommon Loot Bag. You can get Manicio Essence from that. Um, other than that... I think what we need to start doing is maybe getting on with some of this essence business. So we've got, um, if we have a look at, well, earth essence might be a good start, actually. You need Accio essence for that. Manicio seeds, that's the one. But we need seeds to do that. I think we've got one kicking around. Just a normal seed. We've got normal seeds kicking around. It doesn't seem so. But we can get normal seeds anyway from sifting uh, dirt and stuff. I, which reminds me, I do need, need to start crooking all that stuff. Ah, this is now. This is now making more power, which is good because, of course, it stopped at the minute. It's turned into gravel. I do need more um, dust. I do. Let's put that in there for the moment. I do need more dust. But uh, as for seeds, guys, we're going to have to sort something out a little bit later on. But I do need to start doing some of this stuff as well. So, as you can see, if we go back. Well, if we go over to here, iron seeds, for instance, they need Imperio. We need, basically, we need Manicio seeds, these ones. 
And to do that, you need seeds surrounded with Minutio. And uh, Minutio, we've actually got enough to be able to do that. We just need a seed. Once we've done that, guys, um, once we've got a seed, I think that's probably what I'll work on next episode. Because once we start with magical crops, I can then start growing my ores rather than having to sift them. So, yeah, well, we'll work on it anyways, guys. And we'll, we'll see you uh, for next episode. But if you've enjoyed this one, guys, please go ahead and leave a like. It would be brilliant if you could. And um, until then... I've been the Tough Man. Thank you very much for watching. And until next time, stay safe.